I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit, but I've never used this type of terminal before. The amp install kit came with a couple, and I'm going to use them for the power wires. Pretty awesome little things. They just uh, oh, cleanly go in there. Nice use of my pinchers. That ought to prevent it from going anywhere. Getting up to speed real quick. This is painted. Uh, I have pretty much all the slack out of the power wire removed uh, coming this way, so we'll cut it up front here. It goes through. I put the panels back, uh, except this one, uh, the little middle, middle panel. I have the console back in, which should be awesome. I think I have to uh, play with the little trim piece a little, get, uh, a little bit. The RCA cables are routed underneath here, power wire down through here. It's all zip tied and neat in here. Okay, all the tools and stuff are out of here. This is nice and clean, ready to go back together. I have the kick panel and then this little side panel that covers the seat belt mechanism. I got this wrapped in conduit and this guy. Um, these are up to length. Those are the length they're going to be. I'm going to tape them down here just so they don't wander upwards. And yeah, that's how I'm going to leave it. And so they're going right through there, through another one of those little grommets. And then back here, we're pretty much ready to rock. I just have to put on one of those little spade connectors on this guy and uh, put the speaker wire in. And then that's all ready to go. Then it just needs power. I'm going all night, sun's up now. I'm hopefully gonna take care of all of this today and at least get started on the fender. But I want all the wiring done. I want the sub working today and the wiring tuck done. So the main thing I'm waiting on is AutoZone to open so I can go get some proper wire, butt connectors, conduit to cover this whole thing, and probably some other stuff. Oh, and the fiberglass kit. Until then, I'm just working on getting everything settled. And while we wait, I'm gonna take this door panel off, and then I'm gonna get the black door handle on. Okay, we went to the store, came back with some goodies, the necessary, we got the wire loom, fiberglass kit, some wires, butt connectors, let's, uh, let's get this wire tuck done. Alright, as little waste as possible, so let's try to make this pretty short. Nice little section of wire here. Ah. Ah. Perfect. Bam. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this close, but you see that little bit of ooze coming out the end? That's how I know when it's nice and sealed. I think it's just either melted plastic or like something, but when it comes uh, pushing out of there, that probably means really nice and sealed. See what I mean? All right, and now it's time just to wrap all of this and then we'll get the conduit around it and then we will talk.
Bam. Just like that, she's tucked away. I forgot to wrap it in the wire loom, or the conduit, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, there we go, let's try it again. Yeah. Yeah. So I found there are a couple configurations you can do for the amp. So one is called bridging. I have these four channels and basically if I connect from the positive one, negative to the other, I can bridge and basically send all the power of the amp to one speaker. I'm not really sure if I should or can do that. 250 watt sub, 250 watt amp. So I don't see why I wouldn't be able to do that, but I'm not gonna risk it. So I'm just gonna do the, the normal setup for now. The other thing is it shows under bridged operation, minimum of four ohms. And this is a two ohm speaker. So I don't know if that's a great idea. All right, that should be everything plugged in properly and ready for a test. So let's plug the battery up, start it, and see if our sub works. The battery is hooked back up, nothing's on fire so far. Subscribe to Clayton Bridges YouTube channel.